hello hello everyone this is i review the gods where we review any and everything today we are reviewing Udis. i guess that's how you pronounce it i don't know i've never heard it pronounced before i'm just going by what i see gluten-free classic hamburger buns and it says no soy no dairy no tree nuts or peanut ingredients and for those of you who don't know the reason why they say no tree nuts or peanuts because peanuts aren't nuts. They're beans. They aren't nuts. So, yeah, you you, you have that there. It's as close as gluten-free. These things are delicious. But, we're going to turn it on the back. They need to fix this back right here. Alright, let's look at this. I'm going to show you why they need to fix this. Four servings per container. Serving size of one bun. Total grams of fat. Of course, six. Six grams. Daily value is eight. Saturated fat, zero. Trans fat, zero. So, I don't know what type of fat is in here. Because they're saying that there's no fat in this and that. And there's no cholesterol. But here is the kicker here. No bread should be almost 400 milligrams of sodium. It's sodium is 370 milligrams. Total carbs is 37 grams. Five of it's fiber, five of it sugar. Sugar is added, and of course it has 8 grams of protein. This is made with egg whites. Look at the ingredients here. You can look at the birdies while I read it off. Water, tapioca starch, brown rice flour, rice flour, rice brain with germ, canola oil, resistant corn starch, egg whites, inverted cane sugar, tapioca, potato flour, cane sugar, tapioca, syrup, yeast, sugar cane. What does that say right there? Fiber, salt. Extium gum, sodium, uh, alligate. I think that's what it says. And can somebody's because of the light and shining, it can't really see it. Gumar gum, uh, cultured corn syrup, solids, citric acid. And more XTM gun and enzymes and all this sort of stuff. So, one of the hardest things in the world to find is good gluten free bread. Even if you don't have gluten allergies, you shouldn't eat wheat, especially a lot. You need to actually break down and stop eating wheat altogether because you will eventually, even if you don't. See, most people. They don't really understand you might not have gluten allergies. It's just the fact that the proteins in wheat are sharp. They're all spiky. So since the protein in gluten is spiky, it it does it wreaks havoc to your insides, your digestive system, because I mean that's where you're putting it in. So it's it's most likely isn't just a gluten issue. It's the spike protein problem that is in a lot of foods that we eat in America. We eat a lot of spiky protein foods. So it might not just be a gluten thing. Science, maybe one day we'll figure that out. It may not just be a gluten issue. It's probably a spiky protein issue. And... It just so happens that wheat and gluten has some of the highest percentages of spiky protein. That's probably why your body doesn't like that. So, you shouldn't eat wheat at all, real, off the real. But if you are going to eat it, you need to limit the intake of it. And wheat is just like soy. It's in everything. Those two things are bad. So, you need to pay attention to to your food at all times. Now that being said, here, 
all this stuff, it just, like I say, finding good bread, period, is a problem. Finding good gluten bread is a bigger problem. Gluten-free bread is a bigger problem. Because the texture, the flavor, some of the added ingredients in here, the sodium, the the most uh, uh, a bun should be in sodium context is 300, and that's pushing it. It should be 250 at the most. It should be 200. That's what you're basically looking for when you get two slices of bread, less than 200 milligrams, because you still have to put cheese and all this other stuff and everything else with it. You want to lower your salt intake. Americans, you need to do that. Like I say, we, we on average take in 30... 500 milligrams of sodium you should be taking 12 to 2000 so just just do the math just just do the math and this won't help you lower your sodium intake here i'm on the quest to find some good gluten-free bread without me turning into a baker and that seems like that's going to actually happen and i don't want to do that i have too much going on to be trying to bake stuff but if it's for my health, I'll, I'll do it. Remember, health is wealth. It doesn't matter how much money you got. If you're not healthy and you can't walk, move, or you, you're, you know, you're going to pass away, that wealth doesn't mean anything. Health is wealth. Be healthy. So, with that being said, this bread is good, but it is not healthy. It is way too much sodium in here. So far, this is this is actually the best, you know, tasting gluten bread that I had. If they lower the salt on it, it may be a keeper, but right now it isn't later. 